What is up, everyone? Happy Wednesday. Halfway through the week and start of a new month, November 1st, 2023. And we've got a little bit of green coming in it's just here in the last hour. Uh, we've had a spike up in the futures. And uh, so we got futures rising ahead of the Fed decision. And it uh, sounds like... Uh, There's uh, virtually no chance policymakers will make a move either way on interest rates when the Fed concludes its two-day meeting, to, which is uh, will conclude today. I think uh, Jerome Powell speaks later today, but um, just doing a little reading here before I got on. It says what investors will watch instead are the signals. That come from Chair Jerome Powell and the rest of the uh, FOMC committee there that, uh, you know, where they're leaning towards in the future. So don't expect any rate changes. And we do have some earnings today. Morning Rookie Trader. PayPal announces after the uh, market closes. Yum. I don't trade yum, but uh, could affect the market. Uh, had earnings before market open today, and it's down uh, two and three quarters. Airbnb after market closes. And the biggest one that we trade is Roku. Down to $59, was up. Oh, when was that? Uh, let see. October 9th, they were up to 72, 73 bucks. So, uh, end of July, Roku was at $97. So, it's come down quite a bit. There is the bell. Today, we're trading the two days to expiration option chain. Dow opens up plus 33, NASDAQ up 45, and S&P up 8, roughly. Tesla coming down. Other stocks pushing up. AMD pushing up. Had earnings after the market closed yesterday. VIX down one and three quarter percent, down to seventeen dollars and eighty three cents. It's on pushing up.
S and P is up. Seven. So uh, I was looking at okay. So zero DTE. Uh, I've done some. Re I went through the reverse iron condor course, and then and uh, says one of the criteria is a gap up of more than uh, 025 percent overnight or before market open, and it didn't quite have that. So I think I'll be putting on another zero DTE iron condor. Um, my my uh, paper trading account here is up about 19 grand um, I was testing some other things uh, in October or so but definitely had very profitable zero DTE iron condors I haven't figured out exact but I'm guessing probably 15k or something and Paper trading. Like I said, I'm <clears throat> experimenting with a few other things. With so my account, paper trading account isn't just zero DT iron condors. Just some other things in there. So Should be getting a second red or second bar here. We bumble B. Looking for some volume here now with this second bar. seeing any volume coming in yet. So, not seeing really any volume bars that look like they're going to... Well, MU, MU's got getting a pretty big bar here. 
So that's a potential upside volume runner. Oh, Uber is already there. I'm going to watch Uber. It's kind of, it could flip red real easily here where it's at. I'll trade Uber a ton. Take a look at Uber. Again, two DTE. Yes, the Uber just flipped red. So pass on that. I mean, you definitely going to get there. MU, I would trade the 68 calls. Build it a dollar four. So it was kind of aggressive to get in there. Again, you just never know if you need to. We're getting down to the last, it was in starting the last minute of this bar. So I wanted it, and, you know, so it looked, definitely looked like I was going to finish green. So I just jumped in. Hopefully that pays off. Microsoft pushing up. I'll get out of half my MU at a dollar fifteen. Let me check Microsoft. I don't think it got there. No, it did not. So MU the only one really. Any other signals, so. Uh, Bumblebee. Yeah, so um, I need to go. I started keeping track of like my exact fills and exact profits about halfway through October. Um, my account, is, my paper trading account is up like 19 K for October, but the, there were other trades in there. Um, just on some other things I was just practicing. So, but I would, if I had to guess probably up like 15 K and that's doing like four contracts for my zero DTE. So whatever buying power that is, you know, and I, and that may or may not be what I do when I live trade. I may start off with two contracts. Yeah, so SPX, I've just been paper trading four contracts. And so I should probably pay more attention as to exactly how much buying power that is. But um, I think I looked the first time I started it and I was like, yeah, I'll just do four. But um, um, I, I'll, I'll look at it again and maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll start with two. Let's we'll see. I still I still want to go another month at least. I told myself three months. Um, you know, in case you have a down month. And I've also for November I, I started tracking the the zero DTE on a, a trade tracker. So for example, um, Steve has this trade tracker that looks like this. So. Um, it's got tabs and so I, you, you can, it, you can enter in your fills. And so these are my fills for my zero DTE. I also put like what time I got filled, which I need to do for this one. And, um, uh, so I, di I didn't start doing that until oh, about halfway through October. So I'm, I'm gonna, 
I'll be able to be more precise on my P and L in November. Filled an MU at a dollar fifteen. Yep, my boy Trader Jim. So let's look for some mighty 90s. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. <laughs> A lot of stair stepping down in volume. Had that yesterday. Baidu coming down. Yeah, I will. I will for sure. Tesla came down now, trying to rebound here. AMD pushing up. And Baidu really coming down. Let me take a look at Baidu. Or potential mighty 90. Let me look at Toss real quick. Is that volume so low? Yeah, it does have a potential mighty 90. Boeing coming down through lows. Square potential mighty 90, but it's bounced. Baidu potential mighty 90. I'll close another uh, MU at $1.25. Filled at $1.25. As soon as, I, as soon as I hit send, it filled. I must have. Maybe you could have got more for that, I guess. Okay, so Baidu, if it pushes down one more time, I might look at getting long. A little mighty 90. See if MU can get through that uh, pivot there. All right, bye, dude. Bye, dude. I would. Oh, wow. Those are kind of wide. Huh. I do strikes are kind of wide. It is pushing down. It would trade the 103 calls. Build at a dollar eighty nine in Baidu. On the 103 calls. And I would close half at 210. Me trying to get through the pivot there. So not a very good fill and bite you. Just man, the strikes were wide, so that's probably why. I don't always like to trade when the strikes were as wide as what they were there, but.
close another MU at $1.35. Build at a dollar thirty five to close another MU. So that volume runner really working out at the moment. Nice, Jim. Nice. Why do you popping up here on that mighty 90? It's a pretty tight range, though. So for some reason, I'm not getting paid like I thought I should, thought I would. Close another MU here. Wow. Build at a dollar fifty five. So Bidu popped up. So if it gives me two green bars, I can get out of it. I should have gotten out of two more MUs instead of one, but it really popped up for me, which is good. Got filled at a dollar thirty-five. I've been going every ten cents because that's ten percent. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of another MU just because it's gone up twenty cents from a dollar thirty-five. Got out of one, another one at dollar fifty-five. I think I have another one at a buck sixty. Go to a buck fifty nine to shed another. So I got six left. Let's see, anything else shaken? Amazon had a little, had a mighty 90 or is that a big volume bar? Meta had a little mighty 90 short come down already. Ooh, Netflix with the mighty 90 short. So Netflix, 420 put. Try to get filled at six bucks. Filled at six ten. That's the four twenty put. <clears throat> so nice signal here, nice volume pop, pushed up a little bit more. I'll get out of half my Netflix at six seventy. Get out of another MU at a buck. 
seventy. Build it a buck seventy. So MU volume. Oh man, MU got another big volume bar. I just noticed that. For two consecutive red bars, missed out. Darn it! Remember, it's always if you don't get filled, to just adjust it by a tick or two and do that. Yeah, you don't have to get my exact fills because, I mean, it, honestly, a lot of times people get better fills than I do. It's probably 50-50, you know. This price moves, can move so quickly at you know this time of the day. It's So Baidu looks like it's going to get um, a second green bar. And Netflix, it may it may push back up for you too. It's done that before, where you know, it pushes up, and you can get even a better fill. Sometimes I have to add to it when people are getting in for the first time. Mu with another big volume bar. Wow. I have no idea why I've not gotten filled on half my Baidu, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, close my Baidu because I've gotten two green bars now. Probably because they're wide strikes. I'll see now it's now it's come down. That's the one thing I don't like about, um, you know, the wide strikes is because sometimes like you're chasing fills because uh, th there I got filled two uh, filled at uh, two oh eight in Baidu to close. Sometimes it's like you're chasing puts. I also got filled at 670 in Netflix to close half. But it can be frustrating when it goes against you. Um, you know, something goes against you and you can't get out. See, so like, look, look at Baidu coming down now. Like, I'm glad I finally got out of that because, you know, I got my two green bars. It's a decent winner, but it could have been a lot bigger if I could have got out quicker. That's so coming down to lows of day. That's correct, Bumblebee. So, like, look at like Meta. So, Meta had this little mighty 90, and now it's getting a second red bar because of these mighty 90 green bars. So, I, you know, you, you, you exit Amazon too. Look at it. Amazon, if you if, if you count this as a mighty ninety, I don't think that bar is as big as the first. Um, but I did it in Netflix instead, so now I'm waiting for two red bars in Netflix. And MU, as long as it holds there, I'll continue to hold. But if it comes down much more, I'll just close it out. I got five MUs left. Started with 20. 20 at a dollar four. 
a little over two thousand dollars of buying power. I have, I have been going a little bit bigger than that, but it's all the bigger that I went on that one. So Microsoft pushing up, pausing here. You know, it's maybe setting up for an upside continuation runner. So I might look into that. Stays above this pivot. Let me see here. 342.5 calls. See if they'll get filled at 375. And you holding. Get out of another Netflix. At 7.30. Didn't get filled. I thought I was going to get filled in my Netflix there. Ducks. Did not get filled on my Netflix. So I got one red bar on Netflix. I definitely want to see it come down one more time because I don't want it to be like a continuation upward. No fill on Microsoft. Just at Microsoft to 380. MU is holding, so I'm holding. Build it uh, three seven. Is that three seventy in Microsoft? Yes. Build it three seventy in Microsoft on a three forty two point five call. So I would close half of that. At four ten, uh, what's the thesis for Microsoft upside continuation runner? So have this push up. It's just consolidating, not pulling back at all, and then want to see it continue higher. So MU, you know, if I wouldn't be in MU, you could play this as an upside volume runner, or maybe it's consolidating as well before it continues to push up for continuation runner. It does have these big volume bars, so I consider it a, I'll see a Microsoft go there. It's just what I was wanting to see. Now, if it can just fill me. I have an order at 410 to get filled. It has not filled yet. That's cray cray. 
Huh. There we go. Filled it. What is up? Filled at 435. So I had an order at 410 and it filled me at 435. That's some crazy fills today. Uh, Roku right now could be a mighty 90. Yes. Um, but if it gets as big as the first here, this volume bar, then it would be a downside volume runner. So I'd be, be careful on that one. Built at 720 in Netflix. Nice. So I got one Netflix left. And I'll be closing it out anyway because I'm getting two red bars. Ooh, MU. Come on. Don't do this. MU. Disney. Getting a big volume bar. Could be a mighty 90. Although that's getting pretty close to as big as the first. I'm going to close my um, Netflix. Build at 750. So good mighty 90 there. Close my last contract after two bars. Yeah, so Roku, let me check Toss. Looks like it's setting up to be a downside volume runner. I don't think I'm going to play it, though, just because it has earnings today. Let me check. Pause. Mm, man. Yeah, I'm going to pass on it. I mean, it's real close. It's not as big as the first in toss, but it's close. So I'm just going to pass on Roku. So Mighty 90 here in Roblox, you can see, but the but it's not going anywhere. Yeah, Disney was. I saw Disney. Uh, let, actually, let me check Disney and Think or Swim. It's pretty close, like Roku. Now that bar is as big as the first, so I would say Disney's a downside volume runner. I'm gonna pass on it though. If MU comes below this pivot. I will bail on it. Yeah, Goog's got a little mighty 90 here. Check out Goog and Toss. Weird. Toss Toss had this second bar as a green bar. But yeah, I see that as a mighty 90. So how about the 126 calls? Build it a dollar thirty six. So I'll look for a couple green bars there. Microsoft not going anywhere. Darn it. Microsoft pushes below this pivot. I will bounce. You can definitely get a better fill than I got in Goog. That's what I was talking about. Sometimes you get better. Sometimes you get, I get better. So 
So MU still staying green here in terms of above this pivot, but I'm down to two days to expiration. So you, you will start to see a little fade of decay. And Microsoft coming down. I don't like that. I'll add to my Goog if it gets down to like a dollar twenty. Zero DTE iron condor doing. That's still, still, still sitting pretty good. Intel pushing. JPM has a mighty 90. A little tight range, though. So I'm stay away from that. Goog really coming down. It's pretty tight range, though. Build it a buck 22 to add to Goog. I added to it here. It had this nice mighty 90. One more push down. And now I want to see two green bars. Uh Tesla. Yeah, nothing really, nothing really in Tesla that I see. Disney, oh man, yeah, Disney turned a green bar here, so that's kind of odd. That is a big volume bar. Sometimes those big volume bars don't always work out when it's abnormally big. So MU, um, like to see it continue higher here. And for Goog, I would get out of half at a buck thirty-four. The uh, my last still is a buck twenty-two. Ten percent is twelve cents. So that would be a buck thirty-four to close half my position. Got a lot of contracts on in Goog right now. <laughs> because of it was a dollar thirty six. Microsoft not doing anything. Yeah, Disney though. It's tight range, pretty tight range. You can see that. Bumblebee, for volume, does the big volume bar that is bigger than the first volume bar need to be the same? Uh, right out of the gates, yes, but it could, that could change like throughout the morning. So let's just say like um, Disney, for example. So it was red. Let's just say it has a couple big green bars. Then that would be upside volume. So like uh, MU, let's just say, let's say MU's first one was red. 
but then it, you know, the market starts getting strong and it gets a couple big green ones, then I would play it as an upside volume runner. But right out of the gates, yes. That makes sense. So kind of kind of depends on what the market's doing and if it had a had a you know if it's is it the second big another big green bar, a couple consecutive ones. And Goog's not really pushing up like with the rest of these right now. Just kind of hoping it would be. Get out of another MU here at a buck eighty. Microsoft pushed right back up. That's pretty weird how it's just flatlined right there. You're getting a big red bar now, or I'm sorry, big green bar now. No, I closed out Netflix. Filled it a buck thirty-four to get out of half my Goog. Uh, I got out of Netflix because it gave me it was a mighty ninety and it gave me two red bars. So if you recall, that was a mighty ninety and it gave two red bars. So bailed on it. Build it a buck seventy. To get out of another MU, so just shed another one there. It pushed right back up the highs of the day. So if it if it looks like it's just gonna get pushed right back down, I might just bail on it because it's got um like three contracts left. Four contracts left. Goog, so it gives me a second green bar. I will get out of it. And Microsoft. I would get out of another Microsoft at 475. And look at Meta push up. Ah, I'm just going to close my MU. Build it a $1.58 to close MU. So great trade there. has not gone anywhere for a while as you can see I'll Tesla coming down so I'm in Goog I'm in Microsoft both long get out of some more goog here and i'm gonna get out of two contracts i don't know you can call it a quarter but it's not one it's two because i added to it and have a lot of contracts on i 
Let's see how much time we got left. I was going to get out of some more, but now let's come back down. So I'll wait here because I might just end up closing it out after two green bars. Microsoft trying to get through highs of day. You see why I got out of the MU? It's coming right back down. So it's just flatlined right there. I mean, at some point it might push through highs of day here, but you know, that could be next bar, it could be in, in an hour. So not dealing with the theta decay. Especially after it's already got a nice profit. And Goog may not give me two green bars here. Just flipped to red. Now it's flipped black green. So I think I'm going to get out of Goog. Regardless here. Unless it just starts blowing up here and gets... Super strong in the last minute. But it has struggled a little bit here to push up. Meta getting a mighty 90 short. If you want to jump in that. Build it a buck 34 to close Goog. So... I guess right where I got rid of half. So I just, it, it, man, it looks like it wants to roll over. I don't know. It may not, but I'm just uh, playing the rules on that one just by the looks of the price action. I got an order in it to, uh, to get out of another Microsoft. <laughs> At 475. It just got filled at 475. Man, futures are really pumping up there. I might. Yeah, my zero DTE iron condor isn't doing the greatest, but it's still holding on. <laughs> Ah, look at Goog, you little rat. Should have gave it one more minute. But I'm just following the rules. Four eighty five. All right, nice. Yeah, it's got it's mighty ninety short, so it looks like it's pushing up. So um, you could you could add to it, depending on how you position sized up here at the top, wherever this stops pushing. But uh, it's a pretty good looking mighty ninety, especially with this push up. So like right at the top of this would be time to add to it or get in for the first time. Sometimes I like to let these mighty 90s see if they push up one more time. For whatever reason, it's things are getting look like they're getting strong. Get out of another Microsoft at 515. Wow, man. Goog really shot up. That's a bummer. MU as well. 
shot right back up. three Microsofts left. That's all I got left. So. S&P up 30 now. Wow. Yeah, so Meta would be a good spot to get in probably right here at the top of this. With this mighty 90. As long as this bar doesn't get as big as the first. Build it 515 to get out of another Microsoft. So you can see that continuation runner on there. It's how Microsoft was pushed up and then it was consolidating. Wow, Meta. Ugh. Amazon with a mighty 90 short as well. I mean, I always hold because I position size to hold. Um, but I would, you know, I would be position sizing to add to it right here where it's at. And then it gives me two red bars and I get out. But again, I I don't know if somebody said something or kind of shot up there a lot of these stocks. Man, if I, if I would have held Goog on that mighty 90, whoa, that would have been awesome. So I don't know. Like it's I if you position size correctly, you should be able to weather it and wait for two red bars, but Especially if you got in right up here at the top for an ad. So Microsoft actually has a little mighty 90 short as well. So I think I'm going to bounce on my Microsoft. Build at 535 to close Microsoft. I only had two contracts left. So, but I can tell you this meta is looking good for a mighty 90 short here. I know. Yeah, Bumblebee, you got in here, and unfortunately it's pushed up against you, but. I would think it would give you two red bars. I mean, it's going to give you two red bars at some point. Let's see what else is going on here. I'm getting close to getting stopped out of my zero DTE trade. Well, I think I'll take my nice green day and call it a day. It's 930 Central almost. So uh, you, I'll be back on Friday. So you get Steve tomorrow. Hope everybody has a great day. Talk to you later. Peace.